Hello everyone. Hope you all are fine. Today on our behalf of CCTV desk, we come up with new video. This video is all about a CMS or a app name as Eagle Eyes Light for PC. Basically in this video, we are going to discuss with you what is Eagle Light for PC, what are its feature and function. Then we'll tell you that how you download and install this app on, on your PC and how you configure the app to make the camera live and able to access all its feature. So keep watching till end. Please like, share our video and subscribe to our channel if you are a new one. So let us start. What is Eagle Eye like? Eagle Eye is light for PC. Basically, it is a software, it is an app which is used to connect as well as control the CCTV camera on the screen. It may be a laptop screen, it may be a mobile screen. And it is also used to monitor the cameras on remote locations over the internet. The main purpose of this app is that you are by using this app you are able to live view of the camera. Not only the live view of the camera, you can see the multiple channel at a time. You work the recording of the cameras, you take the snapshot of the video, you control the PTZ camera, you save the live view of the camera, you can add, adjust the image parameter like brightness etc. And you take the backup of the, of the recorded videos and many more. So now to download and install Eagle Eyes Lite for PC on Windows OS, we have to take the help of Android emulator called BlueStack. First we download BlueStack on Windows OS and then with the help of that we installed Eagle Eyes Lite for PC. I make a separate video on how to install or BlueStack on the on your PC. I will give link of that video that is in the description. You can watch the videos if you don't know how to install BlueStack on your PC. Once you have successfully installed the BlueStack, you find this option like BlueStack 10 or BlueStack 5 on your desktop. Just double click on the BlueStack 10. It will open an app. Now just click on the app player. When you click on the app player, basically this will create an Android environment for the app so that you can run any Android app. Now just click on the system apps and just click on the play store. When you click on the play store, you can find all the Android app here. So you simply search your app like this here, just click on the search and search for Eagle Eyes Lite. When you do that, you find the top of the list, your app like this one. This app is by AVTech. Just click on that and click on install. When you click on install, it is totally automatic process. You don't need to click anywhere, but start downloading on the system, then start installing. So let the process to be finished, then we'll tell you that how you configure the device to make the camera live and able to access all the feature. Now it is installing. Let the process to be finished. Now I will tell you that how you configure the app to make the camera live. Now it is installed successfully. One more thing I would like to discuss with you that even it is installed completely, you find the option on the desktop also like this one. Okay. When you double click it, it will directly open the app. Just open the app. Click allow. And first you should scroll down in the bottom and click I agree. Now again you should click agree. I have read agree to privacy policy click enter and this is the interface of the app. So here you find a lot of options like playback where you check the recording. Here you can edit your device. Here you can add the device. 
and here you find the auto option like config easy media means whatever you save in this app here it will store on media so first thing you should click on that you can you should add the device just click on this add and here you find the lot of option like select easy or a QR code for easy networking device series okay for easy networking device series you should QR code mode easy okay when you click on easy it will just sign in otherwise just click on here here you ask for the QR code QR code where you find the QR code you should log in your device and go to net network option or information option over that you find the QR code okay like this one here you should scan the QR code okay and here you should manually enter the number also okay just close this option and again click on press button and here is for uh, ask for a manual so just click on the manual here what you should click here you should click name your device like QR code and easy is the option where it, you can want do you want remote access of any device from anywhere or any device from anywhere then you should otherwise if you want to local IP address or a static IP address you should enter here like in my case I have a local address just enter here and here are for a port number again you should log in your device and go to network option over there you find the IP address and a port number okay and add, add username and password please don't be confused it is a username and password of the device device means camera DVR anywhere whatever you are adding and here you should enter the password and here you found the local network search if your device and your PC both on the same network and you should search in local network search it will automatically detect the device and you add just click save it will take time and here you find your device just double click it and your camera comes live that's all about this video thanks for watching thank you thank you have a nice day